It's day 38 of Space Force basic training at Joint Base San Antonio. Hey, exercise position, row! It may look and sound like basic boot camp for soldiers, sailors, Marines, or airmen. But these are guardians in the U.S. Space Force, the first new branch of the armed services in more than 70 years. And this is the first ever guardian only basic training led entirely by Space Force instructors. This is still the profession of arms. This is still the United States military. This is not space camp. Master Sergeant Eric Maestro is the Space Force's first military training instructor, and he's in charge of all training for these 71 recruits over seven and a half weeks. I come from like an Air Force family, so when Space Force was around, like most people were like, what is that? Like, that's real? They're like, what, that's a real thing? Yeah, it's a real thing. The biggest change between this basic training and other boot camps is in the classroom. These guardians are being taught a brand new Space Force specific curriculum. Everything from space history to space vocabulary. So if I say the word LEO, L-E-O, that stands for low earth orbit, right? You need to start thinking along these lines, that the world is bigger than just what you see, that we go out to 22 and a half thousand miles into orbit. None of these guardians are actually going to space. They'll be operating U.S. military satellites from the ground or analyzing satellites from countries like China and Russia. You're not dealing with tanks or ballistics or anything like that. You're dealing with little blips on a, on a little computer screen. It's a different type of warfighter, one that has to strain their eyes and flex their mind more than their muscles, which leads to the other big difference about this basic training. We want to build guardians. And what a guardian is, is about our core values. Tell me what courage means to you. I think courage for me means being able to ask for help when you need it. It's a mindset made for a modern military force. Maybe you need to step away and have some meditation time. Whatever it is, we want our guardians to be strong and healthy from a diversity aspect and inclusivity aspect. We want them to feel like you can express that in our service. Coming here, like I had a lot of people that were like, you know, you're gonna be the only like black girl there, or that I even have two other train like teammates that look like me. Are there a lot of space nerds like yourself? Oh, like for sure. Star Wars, Star mm. Trek. And I'm not even that kind of space nerd. Never what? even seen it. <laughs> what kind of space Never nerd even are seen you? it. Like I used to watch live screens of like the moon rotating. Just like I'm into that type of space. Just the kind of nerd that the Space Force is looking for to protect and shape a new domain of warfare. We need our own Space Force basic training because we are our own branch now. Like we broke away, so we need to stop being in the shadows of the Air Force. Kristen Fisher, CNN, Joint Base San Antonio.